Okay, back again as you can see. Another clue. What do we got this time? Artsy, excited, Letcher. Uh, artsy, excited, Letcher. Um, first off, there's a bit of an Easter egg here. I can't remember, but if you type something here, it was a short, like, a weather man on the TV clip. I think it was some sort of, must have been some sort of trial of that inside joke or something. Um, anyway, with this clue, artsy, excited, Letcher. It's, uh, the word artsy is an anagram for satyr. Like one of those, uh, you know, guys with horns and, the, and goat feet, goat legs. Um, but first, we've got to do a puzzle. Um, so let's come over here. Um, there's going to be the puzzle right here in the foyer. This puzzle, basically, we have to exchange the positions of the white knights and the black knights. And um, I know it looks a little complicated at first, but it's actually a pretty linear puzzle. Um, if you think about it. Basically where the Black Knight's moving off of right now is the only space on the board where you can move to three different places. Um, you can move where he came from, uh, you can move where he, we moved him to, or you can move him where, where the other Black Knight is. Um, the position of the other Black Knight, that's crucial and that's what really makes solving this puzzle easy. That's one little space on the board, because all the other spaces you can look at almost really linear, like on one side, um, you know, there's one space, once you move them, you can't. The only place you can move them is back to where you moved them from, and same way on the other side. Um, but that position that the Black Knight that we haven't moved yet, that's kind of like a dump off position where um, you can keep a piece there and then just move them later. Uh, that's exactly what we're going to do with this, with him. Um, but so what we're going to do is we're going to cycle all the other pieces around in order to get that black knight into the uh, spot on the far right, the little knight icon, um, we're going to move him over there, then that's going to be, you know, part of the solution, so we're not going to move him anymore from that point. Um, so it's just a matter of cycling the other pieces around. See right there is the space, the white knight is the space of three possible moves, everywhere else only has two. Um, so now we're going to move the black knight up there. We're going to move him up top. middle, and then we're going to move him to the far right. You notice from that far right position, like I said, the only possible move is where we just moved him from. There's nowhere else you can move him to. Um, so now what we're going to have to do is we're going to move the white knights into uh, the positions just prior to where the um, black knight on the far right is, meaning this one right there. You can't go anywhere, you can't go further than there, so we're going to leave him there. Um, this white knight we're going to move around. And we're going to move him up top. Now what this enables us to do is we're going to move our black knight, uh, the one we have left, that one right there. Uh, we're going to move him around until we can get him into the little dump off spot. Um, because basically he can't move to where he needs to go because he's got the two um, white knights blocking basically his path, his progress ahead of him. By keeping them off on the little side in that little dump off area, we're able to then cycle the white knights back the other direction, um, therefore making space for him to move into in order for us to solve the puzzle. So that's basically what we're doing here. You see, we've got him in our dump off zone now. Um, so once we get that knight there, we're going to have to move it one more time. Then we can move the other white knight back around as well um, in the opposite direction. So it's a very linear puzzle if you think about it. You just have to know the way that knights move in chess, um, you know, basically in an L shape. So now that he's there, we can move our black knight out of our dumping sp off spot, back into the main, you know, flow or path of moves on this little section of board. We're able to put him down, and from there it's just a simple matter of rotating the white knights back around. Let's see, from here we can move this one into either spot, it doesn't matter. And there, move them up between the knights. And then to the spot we need to move them to, and then that puzzle is solved. And this unlocks the foyer. Basically, we need that because. You. Uh, well, look at the map here, so I'll show you why. Um, Look at our map. The foyer is now unlocked along with the library. We can't go anywhere else on the first floor yet. Second floor, again, uh, we've got the hallway in Brian Dutton, but 
There's nowhere else we can go. See the lab and the gallery now. We haven't solved the pu any puzzles in the gallery. We haven't even been there yet, but we can interact with everything in there already. Um, the lab, we just haven't had to go there yet, but we will need to pretty soon. Um, so anyway, here's how you get to the, um, the gallery. It's a secret passage. The grandfather clock. Anytime Stoff says something is a bad move, then that's generally a good idea to do it. Because he's a liar. Alright, here's our artsy excited lecher, our satyr. So let's go ahead and click on him. And then we got another video clip. Hello, Marie. Hello, Marie. Where's Chuck? I thought maybe you were here to see me. Eh, no such luck, buddy. You wish. Is he in his office? He's got a meeting in five minutes. He hasn't got time for you today, Marie. Just tell him I'm here. That's socialist. Alright, uh, let's close out and see what clue they give us next. A heart attack could put you into the ground. This is just a mirror we had all anagrams so far. Um, heart is an anagram for Earth. Um, you might remember when we were in the library earlier, there was a globe. So we're going to go back. Um, the reason we solved the puzzle in the library right off the bat, if we do, if we didn't do it then, we would have had to do it now. Um, because we you need the whole room unlocked to be able to interact with the globe. Um, so either you do it at the start when we did it, or you can do it now, if you haven't done it yet. But we've already done it, so simple matter of strolling in, clicking on the globe. And another video clip. Ooh, blood on the rocks. Lovely. Someone's walking. Yeah, it's blood. Yeah, it's blood. Okay, I don't know who that is yet. Let's keep going. Another clue. Battleground! Battleground. Okay. I'm just gonna go and... Uh, now we're gonna go to the lab. Uh, the laboratory. Um, again, to get there, if you played Seventh Guess, it's the same way. We've got to go back up to Brian Dutton's bedroom. If you remember, there's a door in the back. We're going to go through that door, which leads us to the chapel, and from the chapel, we can go to the laboratory. The laboratory has uh, probably one of the puzzles I hate the most in this game. Um, that's what we're going to have to do next. Hopefully, I'll have some good luck and we'll be able to solve it quickly. But if I can't solve it and if it takes more than a few tries, I'll probably just um, let the game solve it for me. Here's the chapel. Um, the lab is this way. Go through there. Um, battleground, basically battle is an anagram for tablet. You can ground up a tablet, so I guess that was the other part of the hint. Um, yeah. Laboratory. Uh, here's the mouse puzzle right here. Uh, we're going to have to do that first before we can do anything else. So next video, we'll get going on that. Let's cross our fingers, hopefully we can beat it.